Hi, good to see you guys. Thanks for stopping by once more. Today's video is about most common audio issues you will encounter as someone who does help desk. This video is actually based off a video that I made about a year ago. It was somewhat popular, but uh, it was about top most common audio issue that you will encounter. The reason it's really good for help desk or somebody who does tech support is because it actually goes over literally some of the most top common issues that you will come across when it comes to dealing with audio issues. So it's incredibly important to kind of be aware of all of these things because there are so many different audio things you can use, whether it's just using the front jacks, whether you have two different connectors, whether it's a USB connector, whether you're plugging it into a front or a rear, whether it's broken or not, how to enable it, how to disable it, how to make sure everything is adjusted accordingly, like the microphone levels, audio levels. Sometimes it's just muted. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it is. I don't know. Let's check it out because there's so many things and that's why I really wanted to emphasize this video. Let's check it out, guys. Please take a moment to like this video. It only takes one second. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it very much and I love you very much for that. Thank you. So let's say you come across this video, but you have a specific issue that you don't know how to fix or figure out. Chances are I have a solution for you. You just have to watch the whole video. Here's the thing. I am an IT professional and I will go through many, many different things here that could be causing a problem with your audio. And there are things that you don't even think about as someone that doesn't work with computers as much as I do. And I'm not trying to glorify myself. All I'm trying to say is if you watch the whole video, chances are one of these things that I show you will fix your problem. So let's say you can't hear from your headset. Let's say people can't hear you on your microphone. Chances are I'll have a solution for you here. All right. So let's get into it right away. So the first thing we have here is typically what you see on the right hand side is the little speaker icon that you select. Believe it or not, I've seen people's computers muted like that and they say, I can't, I can't hear people. Well, it's muted. So obviously you would do that. Next thing we want to look at is the sound settings here. So if you right click the little icon here and then select open sound settings, this is where it would take you. The first thing you see here is the output device. You can see that it's right now selected to Realtek high definition audio. What that means is that this is the most common audio system that's installed on your computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, this is the default. This is whatever you plug into your computer. And I'll show you a screenshot of that right now. Whatever's plugged into that, it's going to go through this. So in order for it to work, obviously this has to be selected like so. If you click on it, anything else that's connected as an audio device will show up. So let's say you have a USB headset, then it would show up just like so. So if I select this, now I'm using USB headset. As simple as that. That means whatever you want to use, you would pick that. So let's say you just have regular headphones with its 3.5 millimeter little jack. You plug that in, make sure you plug it into the correct one. And you know, depending what it is, if you just have regular headphones, no microphone, make sure you connect it to the proper port, which is 3.5 millimeter as well. And then you got to make sure that it's selected to this real tech, because that's what you plugged in. You literally plugged it into the computer that you're using, right? So, but if you use your USB uh, you know, headset, then you have to make sure that it's that selected, right? And of course, make sure the audio is adjusted accordingly, okay? Now, let me touch on Bluetooth real quick, which is right here on the right-hand side. If you select Bluetooth, and you can see that your Bluetooth audio device is there, then chances are then that you have to move on to the other things that I will talk about here in a second. But if, you're, if, you, don't see your, if you don't see your Bluetooth device here, make sure you click Add, select Bluetooth and make sure it's paired with your headphones or headset or speakers or whatever it is that you have connected. So that's the first thing if you have a Bluetooth device. Otherwise, whatever I'm going to talk about next is not going to apply to you at all unless you already paired your Bluetooth headset. All right, let's move on to the next thing. I'm just going to close this right quick so I can show you where the sound panel is. So if you go back here, right click and open sound settings. And the next thing we're going to look at is sound control panel, which is right underneath the Bluetooth and other devices. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to close the window behind it real quick. So that way I have a better, better of a contrast um, going on here. So the first thing we see that is that we have two different devices here. Let's say you bought a new USB headset, you plug that in and then suddenly it's not working. Well, chances are, this is what you're looking at here. 
This blue, or I'm sorry, this green circle with a white check mark inside of it means that it, this device is set as default. It means that this is selected right now to be used. Remember the first thing I told you and showed you in the drop down? This is the exact same thing, except this is a more advanced way of doing it, right? So if you want to use your USB audio device, which is this, make sure you select it and click set default, right? You select it set as default. If you can't see your USB audio device, chances are it may be disabled. So if I, and I'll show you here, if I disable this, by default, show disabled devices is not there. So if it's disabled, chances are you may not even see it. So if you right click anywhere in this right area and, and, sh and click show disabled devices, you can see that it comes up right there. And all you gotta do is just select enable. So guys, this is, this, guys, this is one of those things where I was telling you, chances are that I have a solution for you in this video. You just have to watch the whole thing because there's so many things that you can adjust that, that, that could be your problem, right? Anyways, so this is basically how you would make sure that you can hear from, that you can hear inside of your headset. So your speakers, right? Your speakers have sound. And of course, you can double click any of these things and change the levels, but it's the same difference as if you were going into the you know, if you collect a, if you select a little, you know, speaker icon here and adjust it like that, you just have to make sure that whatever it is that you're trying to do here, whatever it is that you're trying to use here is set by default. So let's move on to the next tab. And this is going to be for the, for you guys that have an issue with people uh, can't hear you on your microphone or you have low microphone um, output, right? Meaning that people can't hear you as well. Here is what shows up as a microphone. Again, show disabled devices is like this, right? See, this is our Realtek front panel and the rear panel as well. So if you have a computer, right? And it has these 3.5 millimeter jacks. And again, I'll show you a screenshot here so you can see it. So you can understand that it's super easy. These are right now unplugged. And this is what that red pointing down arrow means. It means that these are enabled but there's nothing plugged inside of them. And you can see that it's separate from here. So here is the microphone. And if you had something connected to it, it would turn, it would just disappear. It would not have that red arrow and it would be full on, full contrast like this. Right now, what we have is a microphone on the USB headset that is connected. So we have to make sure that that's selected as default, right? Since I have no other microphones connected right now this one is going to be set as default but if you have multiple ones you have to make sure that you select the correct one and then select set as default just like i showed you right on on the previous tab for the playback or for the speakers right so if people can't hear you well through your microphone we have to look at the properties of the microphone itself so you can select properties down here or we can just double click it and then it opens up our microphone properties panel the first thing that we can select here as the next tab over is listen. If we select the listen and apply, what happens is we are testing to see if we can hear ourselves through the microphone. This is actually a really good way to see how or to hear how well other people can hear us through that microphone. So once you do this test, make sure you uncheck it and click apply. Otherwise, you're going to hear yourself, your own echo all the time. But this is a really good way to check to see the levels of your microphone. Um, I would suggest actually you turn this on and so you can go to the next step and troubleshoot the volume of the microphone easy. So the next thing we click over in this tab, what you would typically see is a microphone boost check mark. So this is on regular standard headsets. It would say literally microphone boost instead of AGC. AGC here means that it automatically adjusts the levels of the microphone depending, it just does it automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you need to enable microphone boost, this is where it'll be under custom. The next tab over is the levels. So if somebody can't hear you well, or your recording is not that good on the microphone, this is how you would adjust the volume for the microphone. As simple as that, make sure this is enabled, but sometimes you would have this 100%, but you still can't hear well, that's when you go back to custom, make sure this is enabled, or again, I would, it would say microphone boost, right? The only problem with microphone boost is the chances are that it may pick up 
noise, meaning like audio noise, background noise, static, and this and that. So I highly um, suggest that you test that beforehand. So that way, you know, you have really good, clean audio going. And again, you can do that through the listen here, or you can record yourself, for example, using Audacity or, you know, something like that. Uh, Windows has a built-in sound recording uh, little app that you can try as well. So what if your problem is that you don't have, you don't see any of your you know devices connected whatsoever there's nothing that comes up well chances are you need to install the device driver for it where do we find that well we have to go to the device manager to find that so if you just go to search but search box here and just type in device manager it will show up like so or alternatively you can right click the windows icon here and select the device manager in here if you have your device audio device connected it would be under the first tab here and if you click a little you know if you expand it you can see what shows up there if it's disabled here or there's a little exclamation mark chances are you may need to update or install the driver for your specific headset or speakers or you know sound card that you may have installed for your computer this is pretty rare nowadays. This used to be more common with previous version of Windows. But if that's your issue, make sure that, you know, the, it, just kind of check here. And if there's an exclamation mark or it's disabled in here, make sure you get the proper driver from the manufacturer of your headset or your sound card. All right, guys, these are some of the most common audio issues that you may encounter. If you like this video, please share it with friends. So leave a like. If you have any comments, I will be more than glad to answer them. I, I enjoy helping people. So this is one of my things that I do. So, well, there you have it. This is how you would troubleshoot all of these random issues that you may encounter as help desk or tech support. Help desk. I'm going to make this video label at the help desk. So you know, if you're doing this for to, to get better at help desk, then this is definitely the pretty effective video that you... Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you do it. And that's how you go through all of these random issues. If I missed something, please let me know. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for liking and sharing with your friends. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.